What's up everybody? Welcome back to my dumpster diving channel. Okay, I just got to the first stop. I was just driving around and I saw one that had a bunch of stuff outside of the dumpster. So I'm here, we're gonna check it out and hopefully we find lots of good stuff today. All right, here we go. All right, first stop. And this is what I saw as I drove by. Huh. There's nothing in the actual dumpster, so it must have gotten picked up, but all this was left. There's a Keurig. It has this. All right, I'm gonna take this Keurig. Okay, I'm gonna leave all that. Okay, so I'm taking a Keurig. I've found lots of K-cups in the past and I've never gotten a Keurig that works. This one actually like looks like it has all the parts, so I'm hoping that it'll work and then we can actually use the Keurig cups that we find. <laughs> um, okay, first stop, there we go, we are moving on. Alright. Well, that's a really big desk, but it's really in here. Okay, I was gonna try to get it out, but look how wobbly it is. It like, is coming all apart right there and everything. So I'm gonna leave this desk. There we go, oh well. There's like a little bench uh, end table right at that dumpster, so I'm just gonna drive over there. But nothing from this one. Not in good condition either. That door doesn't shut. Okay. And nothing. All right. Well, those two uh, didn't work out. <laughs> we are moving on. Okay. I'm at a drugstore right now, and I just peeked in, and there is stuff. Mainly these calendars. Look at all of those. I got a bunch and I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't like staying at the sun very long because people always come out. <laughs> Look at all of these. Cat selfies. 
Texas places. This is so cool. All right. Okay, so I'm leaving this one. I don't like to stay here for very long because they do come out kind of frequently and I have never gotten caught here and I don't ever want to get caught here because it's just like such a good one. <laughs> so, okay, I probably got like 25 calendars and we're moving on. That was awesome. All right, this is a new apartment complex. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to fit this in my car though. It's like a really nice gamer chair, it looks like, or like desk chair. It's kind of torn up on the bottom. I think it's broken, actually. Look at how it tilts. <laughs> okay, well, not gonna take it. I think it's broken, and I definitely don't think it would fit in the car anyways, but oh well. Someone else can get it. Moving on. There's like sort of a lot going on right now with like trucks and stuff, so I'm gonna be really quick, but I'm at Bed Bath and Beyond. that are completely sprayed. I don't know if I'd be able to get that off. It cut the cord on that. all these in the car one by one right now just in case an employee comes out I'll just have them in the car much happening. <laughs> I don't know y'all can't see it, but there's a lot going on. So I don't want to be here in case someone does come out. We got a bunch of pots and pans though. So I'm going to move on. Ah! Okay. I drove around the corner and parked literally as I was driving away from that dumpster, I saw an employee coming out. So that was like literally perfect timing. And we got a bunch of pots and pans, like skillets and I know some of them are inserts for like a rice cooker, like, um, this one is like, it says instant pot on it. So I think that it's like maybe an insert for something, but I also still think it's just like a pot. I'm pretty sure that would still work to like cook soup and stuff. I don't really know, but I got two of these and then we got skillets, pots and pans, all kinds of stuff, which actually is crazy because Alex and I have been saving for new skillets and pots and everything right now. And these might actually just like be the perfect ones for us. So that would be really cool if I actually just found something that we've literally been trying to buy. So yay, okay. 
I am at um, some more retail shops that were like right there. One of them is a party store. So I'm kind of hoping maybe they'll have some leftover Halloween stuff that we can grab. And it doesn't look like there's anyone around. So I guess I'm gonna go. <laughs> because I forget it's a liquor store, but it's always just boxes. So, all right, nothing from those. We're gonna go to a couple more spots and then I'm gonna go home and show you guys what we got. Look at this box and it's in there. I can't get the box, but I'm gonna show it so that I can remember what it is. Okay. I have so much adrenaline from that one. Oh my God, I've never found anything there. There has literally always been an employee like sitting by the dumpster every time I've ever tried to come. <laughs> and we just got a brand new Graco car seat. Still in the packages. I'm so mad I couldn't get the box, but speed bump. Whew. Okay, so there it is. That's crazy to me. I wonder if it's expired maybe or something, but it looks really new and obviously it was in the box. It's still wrapped up. Oh, cool. Okay, well, there we go. That was an awesome stop. Maybe that's gonna be the last one. I'll go home and show you guys everything. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm like all shaky, that's crazy. Okay, well, here we go. Moving on <laughs> to home. <laughs> Okay, I'm home. The first thing that I wanna show you guys is how I'm gonna clean the pots and pans that I got. They spray paint them with this like red paint that I've always thought is super hard to get off, but I recently found a really easy trick that just like cleans it completely off. So I'm gonna show you guys that before I like set everything up and show you everything. There's Pilg. Hi, bud. What's up? What's up? You sniffing? <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, let me show you how I clean off the paint. Okay, so I use um, sanitizing gel. I found a ton of these, so I'm not just like wasting these. I have like 15 bottles, which is really nice for helping to clean. So all I do is pour it right into the pan. Like that much. Any rag is fine. I don't have any disposable ones, so I'm using this one. And then you just scrub. And it's already really coming off a lot. You see it all on the towel. And there we go. That pan, totally clean now, no red paint. And it is an Anilon. Is that what that says? I'm trying to show y'all. <laughs> there. So that's this one and that really is all that I have to do. You can see it all in this one. And again, I just use hand sanitizer, a big glob of it, and then just scrub.
Look at how much is on there. <laughs> and just a word of caution, the red stuff gets all over you. It'll get on your clothes, it'll get on your hands. So you might wanna like wear clothes you don't really care about or wear gloves or something. And there we go, like new. And there we go, I cleaned all of them up. No more red paint in any of them. They honestly look brand new. That is so awesome. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six skillets, pots, pans from a uh, retail store. And like I showed, these are all spray painted, all red and everything. Look at that nice inside now. No red anywhere. I love that trick, it really does work. So there's all of the pots and pans. And then these shoes were actually inside of the car seat back there. Um, so I'm not sure if these were returns and they threw them away, but these shoes are really cute. They're little slides, Charles Albert. They kind of look like they would fit me. I might actually just keep these. They're really, really cute. So there's those. And here's all of the calendars that we got. This section is all animal. And this section is like landscaping and cars and cities and everything. There's the only like little mini one. Then all the rest, all these full size muscle cars. There's a bunch of Texas ones. More cars more Texas, <laughs> there's a sunset, and all the ones on the bottom are Texas. That's so awesome. And the pictures of all of these are really pretty. So I always like to take calendars, even if they're gonna be expired, um, just because these pictures are really pretty, and some people like to do crafts with them, or they might um, cut them out and frame them on the wall or something. There's some really cool ones, so I definitely am glad that we scored these all the cars, and then here's all the puppy and cat ones, little puppies, <laughs> a cranky kitty. Oh my God, it's a calendar full of cranky cats. There's a gnome. That's so funny, that is so cute. Cat selfies and dog selfies. <laughs> Puppies, cats, there are so many. Let's see, how many do we have? Twenty-seven calendars we got, and they're all so cute. That's awesome. So there's a bunch of calendars. Then over here, I have the Keurig. I plugged it in. It does turn on. And let me click the back. Not ready at, okay. So it looks like it does kind of work. I don't have any water in here right now, which is why it's flashing at me. Um, but there we go. I need to do a little bit of tidying for it. It's kind of dusty on the top and everything, but I actually do think it's gonna work. So that's pretty awesome. The only thing I think it's missing is the water holders like cover, but that's not a big deal. It'll still work without it. And I'm gonna turn it off for now. So there's that, that's awesome. And then finally we have this Graco car seat and I wanna show it. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's like in perfect condition. Wow. I know y'all said there's dates on these that show when they expire, which is something I never realized the car seats expire. That's wild. Um, 30 to 100 pounds. Maybe it's on the bottom. Oh, here we go. 
Okay, what do these say? Do not use ten. Do not use ten years after the date of manufacture. Okay, and the date of manufacture. There we go. Date of manufacture, 2020. Look at that. Date of manufacture, 2020. Wow, okay. So this is totally fine. I wonder if it was maybe a return and they went ahead and just threw it all away. The little shoes that I showed y'all that I found, they were in the seat. Um, so it kind of looked like maybe they were all returned together or something. But this is awesome. I want to look it up and see how much it is. It's got the model number right there. Um, so I'm going to look it up real quick and then I'll tell you guys how much this car seat's worth. Okay, I just looked it up on their website. It says it's $199 for this car seat. So that is a $200 car seat that we just found. And it really is brand new. And y'all tell me for sure, but I'm like pretty confident that I can sell this one without it being like a problem. I found car seats in the past before that maybe were older and y'all had said like, don't sell that one. It could be a liability or something. So ever, if you can tell me like for sure so that I know, but I'm pretty sure since it was manufactured in 2020, um, it looks brand new. I'm pretty sure it literally was just brand new and maybe a return. Um, I don't really know, but it is so nice. And that's a $200 car seat right there. Oh, there's the name of it. Nautilus 65. So there we go. We got a $200 car seat, 27 calendars, and probably like a hundred or $200 worth of skillets and pots and pans and stuff. I'm not exactly sure how much all of these are, but I bet if this was a set, it was pretty expensive. So there we go. That's everything from today. I hope that y'all really, really enjoyed this video. This was a super fun day for me. And with everything going on in the US right now, I'm really just trying to keep my mind off of the election. <laughs> so I have been really loving dumpster diving all day. It just is like very relaxing and stress-free. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really good week and I'll see you next time. Bye.